Hey, thanks for joining me. Travis from The Knife Joker. Tonight we're taking a look at a, a new model, really, from Pinna Knives, from Enrique Pinna. Dog Lake Jack. Yeah, that Pinna Knives X Series Dog Leg Jack. And here it comes. I do believe these come out Monday. Um, the th well, don't really know the date. So, if you're watching, uh, sorry I didn't um, put the date stamp on there or whatever. Might automatically happen. I think these come out um, in two days. So, usually when these pen and knives X series come out, uh, they don't last long. So, yeah, if I wait and they're dilly dally, there'll be no video. Well, not from me, or maybe, I don't know, four versions. Plus, of course, some collectors get all four versions, and if you do, well, uh, I applaud you. Uh, hard to get. I think some of the most popular knives actually um, on the market to when these are announced and they're coming out. Any of the pen and knives, um, little front flippers uh, coming out. Um, geez. And Enrique himself, I do believe, has quite a waiting list if you want one handmade by Enrique himself. Yeah, these dogleg jacks, designed by Enrique Pena, manufactured in China by Riot Knives. And you can see the quality. You know, he can have these knives manufactured basically anywhere that he desires. And uh, if you've seen Enrique's work, quite spectacular. Quite um, flawless and, well, spectacular and flawless. So, yeah, uh, I know I know for a fact, yeah, he, he's had many prototypes made by many people, and um, he has them made by Riot. And I can't blame him. But if you watch the channel, I mean, oh, it's in my pocket. I didn't plan this for the video, but yeah, in my pocket, a Riot. So, um, well, there it is. If you've watched the Travis, Travis Van Way channel, um, you would also know there's that raw micarta uh, soaking in the sweat off my hands. So go over these dog leg jacks real quick. You see that dog leg? The handle there, kind of like a dog's leg. It's pretty cool. Once again, these being the front flippers, most of these lately have been little front flippers by Enrique. And uh, there it is. That crazy blade too. Hand grind by Riot. Kind of a drop point there. A little, little sweat in the drop point. I guess a slight recurve there. These being, oh, it's a hollow grind. Not a super deep hollow grind because that's pretty lengthy there. Not quite as long on the back. But that jumping, which works both ways. Uh, works, um, I guess, uh, flipping it up here. And also, when you're holding it. Uh, just to mention, a lot of times people see those front flippers and first thing they wanna do is back flip it. And well, on these ones, if you watched the last video, <laughs> you couldn't do it on those ones. Um, this one. It's a little tough, but uh, yeah, you can. Not recommended a deployment method, but it works. Look at these dog leg jacks in hand. Uh, if you hold really close to the blade, my large size hand, all these uh, pen and knives, X series knives have been a little on the smaller side. And um, you see that dog leg kind of just goes right up in your hand there. Of course, I'm holding super close to the blade. And I think that's where you wanna actually do when you're cutting. Um, try to hold as close to the blade as possible. Most of the time, that's the way we do it. Some knife designs is, are kind of goofy in that respect to where you have a weird area in here where you can't hold close to the blade. Well, these ones, uh, you can. Of course, there's no stabbing finger guard so to speak but yeah that's the design of the, of the knife um you 
Enrique's design, so obviously not Enrique. And uh, why did he make this design? You know, I don't know. I have to ask him. Just look at the quality of his design here and the craftsmanship on them turning it out here. Well, it's looking pretty good. I know I'm not saying every single thing I see. Just, uh, I mean, centering is good. It's clean edges. Pocket clip looks nice. And I know for a fact, <laughs> for one of the first things Enrique will do, he'll look at these screws. And these screws are phenomenal. Uh, kind of a weird, funny thing. I don't know if I have any other knives here with screws on them. Oh, here's a Spyderco. I mean, I'll put the Spyderco screws down or anything. This is a sprint run too. What I'm not comparing Spyderco to Riot at the second, but just talking about those screws, uh, I've seen some other prototypes made and um, they couldn't stand up to where you know, these screws, it's hard to get on camera. I zoom in a little bit. They're all polished around the edge there. And those stars are super sharp, at least it seems to me. Yeah, I've seen uh, makers. I mean, you know, these people make knives for a living and do an excellent job. That's why they have a waiting list and can charge, well, I don't know, $700 and up, $800 and up for their knives because um, they're, they're picky and these screws uh, stand up to the pickiness and I like it. I haven't talked to over a minute, maybe a minute and a half on about the screws, but man, they do look nice. I mean, even that one is just clean. There it is, just clean work. Back to the front flipper here. Look at that blade one more time. Well, I didn't know exactly what these would look like. Talk about names though. Dogleg Jack. I want to say one of the coolest names of the year. You know, uh, the name, the, the knives will probably be super popular anyway. But as far as knife names go, one of the coolest names I've heard, Dog Lake Jack. Showed that in my car to one quite a bit. Show this marble carbon fiber one a little bit more. Same thing. Got that bolster effect to where, you know, pushing out there. You're not going to push it out too far, and if you believe this steel insert also is an over travel stop. So even on the one, let's see, one here, you can't you can't shove that over too far either. Don't believe because there's over travel stop down inside there. Let's see. Yeah, it stops. So you don't have to think about it. You just shove it over there as hard as you want. Close that down. Of course, no nail, no nail nick on this one or anything. Maybe that would have been cool, but uh, of course I'm probably a layman here and would have destroyed the design of it all. But that jig titanium, no bolster here. Just that fake bolster line there. So yeah, overall, these being, oh geez, just under three inches, I think. Oh, just like 2.9, you know, da, 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 da. you know, three inch blade. Can you say three inch blade? Yeah, I guess so, 2.93, something like that. And overall length, well, it's under seven inches. It's about six and three quarters of an inch on the overall length. So yeah, once again, these being just barely on the smaller side, but man, those blades have to be cutters. I mean, I don't have any calipers here or anything. I'm just gonna use my eyeballs and my layman terms and say, man, it's, it's, it'll cut. This will cut. Well, it just looks super thin. Like right, for a comparison, let's see, uh, it's 
Gotta cut Delica. Oh, shoot, Delica. Darn near the same size. That's the first one that came to mind when I thought, um, what does this remind me of? You know, size-wise, that Delica. Also, well, that little native is probably gonna be smaller than one. Yeah, the little native's a little, a little smaller than the dog leg jack here. I mean, that native might be probably about the same size too. A little thicker handle on the native. And for another brand made, I'll bring out a Riot Mini Horizon D. And if you know Riot, well, that Mini Horizon D is not so mini. So it looks huge. Actually, next to the dog leg jack, the Mini Horizon D, I guess um, it's almost like a regular size knife. Anyway, there. And then, well, I had this out, just whipped it out of my pocket. Obviously way smaller than a K4. On there. Side by side knife there. Well, I don't know how long these will last. Um, normally, it seems like the whole world is excited about these coming out. And, you know, if you like them, you probably should be. They won't last long. I know a couple of people, they try to get every single one. And like I said, if you have, if you have the whole collection, big, uh, what do they say, big ups or uh, something like that. More power to you. Awesome uh, work, I should say. Whatever kind of terms you want to use. But good luck on grabbing one of these on Monday. I think they come out 1 p.m. Central time. Um, you can check out on the knifejoker.com actual specs of these and see when they actually do come out if you'd like more information. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit that bell. They say you get notifications when we post up a new video. And of course, like the video itself. Um, that always helps for the video to, you know, populate and so forth. So thanks so much. Once again, Dog Leg Jack, probably coolest name of the year so far. I'll see you next time.